It's Bo The legendary Bo Angles. Microphone. Top notch. How's it going, everyone? We are, we meaning me and Tony here. Uh, we are doing a live stream today, and Tony has, you said you've played this game once or twice? Yep, once or twice on the Xbox. Never <laughs> never on PC, and I've never taken it very far. Yeah, so this is going to be fun. I think uh, people playing in the future and stuff like that who have never played before, I guess I'll have it. Uh, might, might find this kind of uh, interesting, but for those of you who are... Uh, veterans of the uh, fishing planet game you know you'll just uh just hang out with us and then uh learn with tony or something like that anywho um this should be fun if you don't know who tony is he actually joined me for a uh, sturgeon fishing trip oh last autumn yeah like october that. october last year so yeah little little uh cameraman sort of stuff going on and uh we never actually put out the video yet but it's you know it's in the works along with a ton of other stuff it's yep. just it's always busy going on um so but i'm looking forward to doing more videos this summer and who knows what else anyway so it should be fun but we got a ton of people in the chat it's always fun to see uh i'm just i'm trying to, uh, oh my goodness gracious and we're joined by uh, oslo here uh whining in the background kevin townsend taven states basic vr Haley rock just a random guy ice man davidson noah jeremy blum bloom blum May, Davidson Lords, uh, just a random guy again, Haley Rock, Gavin, uh, Jordan Harkenreader, Mega Lucky, May, Tony Hill, I'm trying to catch as many people that I haven't read already, uh, Derek is here, how's it going, Derek, one of our moderators, um, man, Michael Nance, May, Kevin, Haley, blah, blah, blah. I think that's everyone, James Jacobson, hi, Lorenzius, hello, hello, well, it's good to see everyone. We are going to be starting off um, at Lone Star Lake. You know, uh, that's where we all start. I have got, if you go to inventory, I'm at the top of there. Um, I have put together some very basic gear um, that we will be kind of starting with. So, I mean, at, at number one there, we got our telefloat. Uh, not necessarily the telefloat, but I mean, aren't all telefloats for little, you know, bluegill and stuff. They all work the same, I think. All the fish are like a pound. Um, and then at number two, we have the value cat, the value spin, actually, uh, which we'll be using to get some of those spotted bass at Lone Star, which is kind of the next step. And then at number three, we've got the value cast, which we'll be using to go after some of the largemouth at mud water and pickerel and whatnot. And then in four and five, we put together uh, two Creek Pro eight foot tens for uh, getting some of the walleye at Emerald Lake. And this really, uh, this hits, oh God, it depends on how far you want to go, but it kind of hits from level one to like level 15. I mean, this, this, just these five rods will get you the first 15 levels in Fishing Planet pretty easily. So anyway. <laughs> Um, feel free, Tony. Go to yep. go to Globe now, okay. and uh, and we are gonna head to Lone Star. So uh, hit the travel there, and we'll we'll be on our way. You just ordered an MDO shirt. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Very cool, man. There you go. I'm wearing I'm wearing my one of my MDO shirts right now. Uh, one of the ones I don't have uh, online, so I'm sorry, but it's uh. So well, I guess I can turn around slightly and hit Tony there as well. The Giant, giant snake head on the back from Taiwan. Neato. Uh, I have a number of shirts where I am the sole owner, sole owner of of them. So <laughs> don't have them online for people to get. Got the prototype. So Lone Star Lake. Um, there. I mean, there's obviously a number of different places you can go, but you, as a as an angler, what, what's like, what's calling your, what's calling your attention? You might as well just go with what your yeah. your heart's telling you. I'm thinking this is a bridge over here. I think we should go <laughs> by the bridge. All right. Give it a shot. Yeah, 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 yeah. Go fishing? Yeah. Right. Absolutely. So we are going to start off like a beginner player. Um, so the, just the number one rod, I guess, until you hit level three. So we'll catch a few little bluegill and see what else we can catch on just the uh, number one rod. Oh, brought it out automatically. Um, so this is something. This is just like a little uh, pitch. He's he's geared up to do a little pitch right now, uh, which will just kind of flick it out. 
However, um, on PC, um, there is a key, and also an Xbox and stuff like that, to get rid of that pitch. On PC, it's actually F11. And just like that, you know, now you can do a regular cast. Um, but if you do want to go back to the regular pitch, thing. And move forward here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. WASD. I don't know. You said you really haven't spent much time on Played some P PC games before. Never this one, but... Okay. Get there you the, go. the WASD. WASD. There you go. So, yeah. Very cool. Just a random guy. Yo, William. Hello, hello. Yo, yo, yo. Hey, everyone. JFK's in the house. Risen from the dead. Very nice. We're to cast. Fishing. Yeah. We're, we're, we're fishing. W in the chat for Derek for finally finishing the first tutorial on Fishing Planet. Very nice. All right, right click. Oh, oh, oh. I know. I didn't tell you until the moment came. But Oops. go ahead. At least we can, at least we have fish that are in. So All right. So on, on Telefloats, match rods and stuff, they use bobbers and whatnot. You set the hook with, with right click. Okay. Uh, which raises the rod. Yep. Console, whatever it is. Same, same trigger or whatever that raises the rod up. Oh, that's kind of how you set the hook. And then you can start real. And real is the left click. Yes. Right. Yep. Yeah. See, it would have been nicer if I just told them that ahead of time. <laughs> we're learning as we're going. It's fine. Looks like that fish left. <laughs> Didn't like what I was showing him. <laughs> I'm not falling for it twice. You're a, a J Japanese player named BBE. Very nice. That's awesome. I like you move. I like you move. Yeah. Me too. Brandon. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Did finally get tight lines done. Nice. I still haven't done it for me. It's still an incomplete mission of mine. But maybe someday. Weeping Willows is where you're at right now. Very cool, random guy. Ooh. Did see him soon. Yeah. yeah. Oh, so there's also. Is it Z? Boom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, you can zoom you in, see your bobber a little bit wow. closer. Hmm. Sometimes, you know, depending upon the water clarity, you can see the fish underneath um, doing stuff. Now, I will say we are using a number one hook right now. Ooh. Um, oh, pond weed. Try to get rid of that. Yeah, we can just it. But if you uh, press I to bring up your inventory, we could... Let's see what hooks I have. Scroll down through all this stuff. And why don't you put like the number four on? Yeah, drag. Nice. Maybe we'll get more bites. Escape here? Uh yes. Escape and back to fishing. I can tell if that's someone. It's got a rod in the water. Yeah, you don't have to. He's funk. Try out the bridge. <laughs> got King Bjorn underneath getting some pets. That's nice. <laughs> Oh yeah. Amanda says hi Tony. <laughs> Family watching. Family watching. Very nice. It. Very nice. <laughs> My mom will come. Next <laughs> one. Oh, that was too getting, getting too excited. Yeah. <laughs> I was trying to reel up the slack there and reeled up a little too much slack. <laughs> Limp fish. How's everyone doing? Everything's going fine on my end. I had some, uh, had a fish fry and some cheese curds tonight. It was fantastic. It was phenomenal. <laughs> having a good, having a good day. Can we join? We're in a random uh, room right now, but we could switch to a friend's room uh, here in a bit. It doesn't matter to me. We're going to Key West to go snapper fishing and tarpon. Very nice. So I guess I can say, like, if you don't get a bite yep. in the first, like, 30 seconds or something with the float rod, I usually say, like, that's that's usually pretty good. Okay. It's it's a good attempt anyway. <laughs> like, you can sit there for as long as you want. Yeah. Um, But I, I tend to, my philosophy is, like, there's nothing like 30 seconds that, like, sees the bait and goes over to it. Like, I, I'm just reeling it in, trying okay. somewhere else. It's a good tip for people. This guy's got one on right in front of me. Oh, yeah. That's going to be us in a bit. Going for the spotted bass here soon. 
Is there a certain spot where it's better than... You know, I think you really have the right idea. Just kind of yeah. going along the edges of these uh, lily pads and just seeing... I feel like we had more bites on the number one hook. Yeah. We've gone down to a number six. I thought we would get even more bites, but so far, not not so much. Feeling good about that. It's fun. We'll have to go back to spot number one see if... Uh... Little buddy that bit right away is gonna come back. Yeah. In what relation to you is your student? Well, Tony's not my student. Um, he's, he's, uh, he actually sold a camera to me. That's how yeah, we met. That's, yep. Yeah, so uh, I bought a camera from him and he had told me that he had a YouTube channel um, doing fishing stuff. What was that? Uh, Gulpers TV. Gulpers yep. TV here on YouTube. So uh, you can check that out. Um, and so that's kind of when we both realized we kind of had YouTube channels around fishing. We were like, oh, this is cool. Um, so then, yeah. So then he went with me on a sturgeon trip. Um, saw me try to stay as cool as possible when I uh, <laughs> ran my drone into the back of a boat motor or whatever. Yeah. Um, and then tried to scramble to buy another drone within like the two weeks I had uh, before I left for Taiwan. So that was fun. Um, but yeah, no, we really haven't done much since then. No, not at all. I can't see the fishies a lot. I think it must be the moon. Think so? Yeah. Oh, it's not where I wanted so. it, but yeah, it's a good spot. This is going exactly how fishing goes when <laughs> I'm outside. <laughs> <laughs> No fair. This is the legendary cameraman Tony. <laughs> exactly right. That's why I'm behind the camera. <laughs> I believe. I believe. Yeah. Uh, what's up, Ricky? UTW24. Hi. I always love how I start this. Like, and you were you even know you can vouch for me. We literally looked up a playlist of ocean song, and yes. yet. We have a Christmas song playing right now. It just always <laughs> happens. I don't know what the deal is. <sighs> I don't know. That's good. I think it's the hook or I you know, it fisherman? makes you wonder. No. <laughs> Here's the other thing though. Like we're not fishing during like the best time that we could. If you press T, you can get a look at the time we're fishing and they make it really simple for you. If it's in the yellow like if the wave shows the like bite rate basically okay and so yellow <laughs> is is gonna be you're gonna be getting a lot i think there's more to it than that but i simplify mm -hmm. that much so if we really do struggle with bites we can move to the end of the day and hopefully we get more bites there so we'll keep we'll keep trying the float for a little bit longer number six with some red worms you're on the sturgeon grind you want to quit but you're too stubborn <laughs> understandable yeah the sturgeon grind is uh is a pain Ooh. swimming away from that hmm. from that hook for some reason tpb crazy car how's it going man where can i check to get updates on the ocean update uh, i mean you can just stick around and wait for a video to come out on the channel or you can follow them on facebook or uh their discord you can look up the fishing planet discord um there's a few different options uh where you can get sort of information on the the ocean stuff but you know, I'm pretty quick with putting out videos whenever we do get information. So, um, the fact that you're just not seeing any more information is usually just a sign that they haven't given any more information. So, no worries there. Just came in to say <laughs> I was being an idiot. Well, you know, that's just kind of how it goes sometimes, man. Are you at a peak time for fishing? Maybe maybe change the time yeah we just discussed that too Whoa, oh we got him big and big and half pound bluegill about time eight eight inches wow is that keep keep them right. we got 925 pounds we can we can fill up <laughs> probably so, not gonna catch all of that so uh, yeah we only have eight eight <clears throat> yeah 
whatever that was. 1800 of <laughs> fill up. I won't catch that many. <laughs> Patience is key. Nick Nick has showed up too. Wow, he's in. There you go. The whole family. No nibs. <laughs> he's he's used to um not catching a lot of fish. Oh, and, uh, oh, shots <laughs> taken. He knows it. He knows it. <laughs> hey, he caught a fish over my dad last summer, so I'll give him I'll give him credit to that. Oh, uh, okay. Oh, another ding. Is that that is a bite. Well, what, it should be. There it is. You can see there was a bobber up in the right, top right that was moving too. Okay. And this little meter on the right will move when you. We'll let this. Whatever, whatever shiner. you want, golden shiner. Put him on a hook. So different fish you might uh, you might catch out here. Um, I want to say the pumpkin seed. In fact, we can just hit. Well, reel this in real quick. Let's click it. Click clicker. We've got. You can hit escape and go to map there. And go to fish species. This will kind of give you an idea of all the different fish species that we could catch. So, you know, we're looking at the bluegill, the blacktail shiner, uh, golden shiner, uh, green sunfish there, probably red ear sunfish. Um, these are all the stuff that we're most likely going to catch with this float rod. Might even get a white crappie if it comes over. Um, but yeah, this is kind of the stuff that, as a beginner player who only has a float rod, like this is the sort of stuff. Tell you hit level three and you can buy that that spinning rod. Yeah, let's just catch a few more fish anyway. Catch a few more fish. Maybe at, at 750, we'll uh, we'll pretend we've hit level three and move on. Mm. Unicorns. There's a way to change the way you cast your rod as well, so you can get it to where you want it. They're exactly right. I love the chats coaching too. We got we got coaches all around you surrounded by I need, coaches. I need right. all the help I can get right now. <laughs> I'm watching that bobber now on the right side. Oh nice. Yeah. It's that bobber. You can hit the the Z button again. Watch the watch the actual bobber a little bit closer as well. Um, lots of lots of options. Lots of options. Mm -hmm. Whatever you like. Let's see. About to hop on the Congo to make some of your money back. Very good. Very good idea. That, that bass was a hog. <laughs> I wouldn't go that far. <laughs> <laughs> Trophy white crappie are the meta on this level. Whoa. Whoa. It is good that the crappie will go for the uh, the spin the, the little uh, spoon as well, a little casting spoon. And you are going for the, the catch pig roll. You can catch up stuff. Uh, one minute. Got to catch one more. <laughs> Derek has plenty of shiners if needed. Yeah. So if anyone um, doesn't get that inside joke there, uh, Derek was buying um, some shiners today in Fishing Planet. And uh, did you just hit it the wrong way? Or is there some way to max out how many you can buy? Because he bought like 3,000 shiners <laughs> accidentally. Um, so he's he's set for the rest of his Fishing Planet career, I believe. Ooh. Oh, you got him! <gasps> My crappie. My crappie. Let's go. There we go. All right. So we'll we've got him. golden shiner, bluegill, white crappie. We are going to pretend by this point you've hit level three or level five, yeah. whatever it is that you unlock the value spin. Okay. So go ahead. Number two uh, is where we've got the value spin located. Whatever works, man. Yeah, I think you should be able to hit escape now, and it will pull. You can also just hit number two. That oh, works. Okay. That works as well. Um, by this time, I think we will go with the weather. So go ahead, press T for time, and uh, move to the, yeah, move to the yellow. Six here. Go ahead. That should work. Forward time, and now a little bit later in the day. Hopefully, we'll get more uh, more bites from some bass. Uh, feel free to uh, to just kind of cast around whatever you think might work, and um, we'll just Whoa. see. 
but we're having a some. Guess, yeah. yeah. How do we reel in, right? Or, so there are okay. multiple ways with your with your retrieves. One of the easiest ones, well, besides just a, a slow retrieve, I mean that works as well. Mm -hmm. In the bottom right corner, you can see your speed, which you can adjust with your mouse wheel. Ah. So you can uh, do a three speed or four speed, which is super fast, or three speed, which some super fast fish like walleye and stuff will go after. Okay. Um, then two speed, which is pretty normal. And if you want to go slow, you can go down to one speed. I like this two speed. Right? Two speed's good. So you're doing a straight retrieve right now, which is just kind of constantly yep. reeling it in. Um, you can do, and you're doing like a full cast as well. Like you're left clicking yep. and then just kind of uh, going with the power. On your next cast, you can right click choose a specific place okay. you want. Hey, I like that. I saw a little casting bar on the side. Yeah, there. I yeah, think yeah, I yeah. missed that. The first two casts here. But. No, you're doing fine. Um, but, so you, this will show you where your lure is and uh, with the depth. And so you can kind of base that off of where you think the fish are going to be. So you can do... Yeah, exactly right. So they, you see how you've activated yep. a new retrieve with the yep. stop and go there? All so right. right click this time. There you oh. go. There you go. And now wow. you can choose a specific spot. And when you left click, it will start the meter and you just need to hit it right in the middle there. And it'll cast to where it needs to go. Wish I could do that in real life. Uh -huh. That'd be real nice. Uh-huh. So you can do a stop and go here. Yeah, there you go. And it's just kind of a, like finding a good uh, timing. You can just kind of do yeah. that. Just don't want it on the top of the wall. Exactly. So, and it also gives you kind of a, it gives you like a quality meter. So you're right now you're one out of three. Okay, so, you, so that's so not the, good. There is room for improvement yep. somehow. I guess is the way to put it. There you go. So a little bit quicker, got us two out of three. Eventually, you know, it'll get to the <laughs> right place. Just takes a little bit of a experiment. Seven feet. Oh, I still got a reel. Right. There you go. Got it. Got didn't it. Didn't look it. like seven feet, but <laughs> it did, did not. No. <laughs> um. Let's see. You forgot it was in quantity of tens. Ah, oh, okay. That makes sense. I could see that. Try and use bread. Oh, bread is another good one, huh? But another good retrieve that's pretty easy to nail is if you just hold the right, uh, yeah, hold that, and then you just kind of click and let go. You kind of fished before it even showed it, but that is how you do a twitch, mm. um, which is really uh, a good way to do it with with spoons and um, you know stuff like that. Um, something about the twitch really gets that spoon to flicker, I guess, and show some light. So fish oh, seem to love it. it. There Ooh, we go. Yeah. 1.177 pounds spotted bass. Not too bad, there. Not too bad. And if you're starting out, like this is gonna be your way of getting on to mud water or another location, is getting that value spin and catching these spotted bass. So Let her go, go. Yeah, whatever you want. Doesn't matter to me. If you, if you're starting out, I would recommend keeping it for okay. sure. To me, it's not gonna make a difference to me. Yeah, like. Two million dollars in the bank. I think we're, <laughs> I think we're safe from a hundred dollar bass. Did you get the free worms? We did not get the free worms. We could go over and get the free worms. So you got, you did that. Yeah. They had a three star twitch. That's what. Yeah, it just takes a little <laughs> bit. It takes a little bit to get used to it. Which is the best and the easiest? Yeah, for sure. Just got to Blue Crab Island. Very nice. That's a fun one. All those uh, kind of brackish water fish. Stop and go. That one didn't seem to work for me there. No. <laughs> Still not. Just, uh, what's working? It's not. 
It's Tony. I don't know who it is, who that is, but it's him. Yep. There we go. <laughs> That's uh, Thanks, man. not not uh, false, I suppose. Um, love the music you always use in your streams. Video. Well, thanks, Zach. Get it. Going for something, you know, little little bit upbeat, but also a little bit relaxing. Kind of how fishing is. Decent fish. Is it? It seemed to be taking out some line anyway. Do you reel in with the... Uh... I think I found a little bit more of a groove on that one. Yeah? That's what it's all about. Yeah. I'm just feeling yeah. the, the, the pattern of it. Or... So with some of these fish, you can, you know, like, uh, you know, pump up the rod or, and whatnot and reel in some of the slack. It can also be a good way to, to get the box. So this is super good. Very nice. Big yeah. one. 1. 1.5. Very there. nice. Keep this one. Uh, we'll keep it. You use twitching for everything. That way you'll almost never miss a bite. Very true. I mean, that is the good thing is when the right click is how you hook fish and whatnot. If you're always right clicking, if a fish comes by, you pretty much automatically hook them up. So, I mean, it is a good way to go. There you go. Just restart Twitch. Yeah. Just caught a 39 pound pike you can't keep. Oh man. Wow. Outside the, the keep net, eh? Still fun fish. I mean, catching those big fish it, uh, definitely gives you the motivation you need to uh, to go out there and uh, earn the money to buy the bigger keep net so you can keep them. Huh? You got me into this game. Couldn't play anything after tendon transfer. You have been my lifesaver. Thank you. Well, my goodness, cornbread man. I, uh, you know, that's awesome to hear. Tendon transfer. You're going to have to tell me more about this tendon transfer. I don't think I, uh, did you like, did you, you just got so, like someone else's tendon or something like that? But. That's what it sounds like. Yeah, yeah. That <laughs> like, doesn't like a sound heart. like a very I, uh, I've heard simple of, procedure. Either. No, I've heard of like heart transfers and like different organs and stuff, but never attended. That's tendon. interesting. I know you could transfer that. I did. Spots are okay, but early level farming white crappie is equally good cash and better XP. You know what? I yeah, I'm indifferent. If you can keep the the crappie biting and not bluegill and stuff like that like uh you know more power to you um but even fishing for bass Whoa. like catch pickerel every net every so yeah. often yeah Get one so. of those guys <clears throat> definitely catching more fish than the uh the other way we were yeah well it's it's huge <laughs> fan of the a fan of the old bz hub a rebel you could say <laughs> hi how's it going anyone know how i can put fishing planet next to the stream do you have two do you have two monitors two or monitors, anything yeah so. I, that's the only thing i can think of phone phone in your monitor something like that you can tighten your drag up one more yeah i pro probably could Another white Whoa. crappie. See, no, way down, way here. Now, obviously, you had mentioned trophy white crappie being a good, a, a good catch. However, if you can't catch the trophy white crappie, and you are catching a lot of white crappie, you go ahead and hit the keep button. If you look at the uh, keep net here, you can see the white crappie at a half pound is paying thirty-six dollars. Versus a one and a half uh, pound spotted bass is $182. So, I mean, divide that by three, I guess, and it's like 60, it's like $60 for every half pound you're getting with the spotted bass. Whereas with the white crappie, you're only getting $36. I mean, you're making double money going mm -hmm. after the spotted bass versus the white crappie. Now, that might go up if you catch a trophy white crappie, but that might be one out of every who knows five to ten fish so 
So all those other fish you're catching are giving you half the amount that you would be catching with spotted bass. It just, I, it's interesting going for the white crappie. Yeah, and you're saying trophy white crappie specifically, but you can't, you can't be assured that you are going to catch a trophy white crappie every time. So I don't, I don't think it's a good like uh, efficient use of your time. I think. Go ahead though. All you right. are right though. I mean, it, the, you're getting 21 XP for the the white crappie versus 26 XP with the uh, spotted bass, but at this low of a level. Like the XP is like not, not that huge. You need money to get to go places because you need to get to Emerald Lake as fast as possible, basically. And, uh, and levels are going to come pretty easily, but the money is not. You're supposed to be watching your hubby bowl, but nah, Hey, he's a talented bowler. You need a, Need it. He needs the, all the support he can get. Oh gosh. CJ, the all-rounders in the house. Hey, you're uh you're off to Rottenness next week. It's gonna be epic, especially the beach one. Oh man, I'm jealous. It's uh it's rainy here in Milwaukee. Very rainy. Yeah, Almost some snow today too. Yeah, yeah, snow as well. I was worried it was gonna the roads were gonna be bad, but it was very. Cool. Oh. What was that what that was? Yeah. Oh, I thought that was my bait. <laughs> it did look a little, a little too big to a be. A little fishy. Yikes. Oh. We'll do this for, I don't know, until maybe 8.05 or something, maybe three more minutes, and then we'll uh, we'll we'll move us along to uh, to Mudwater River. Ooh, fit. So is there a certain way I should like? Can you change your drag? Yes, through? you can. So I believe it's plus minus. See your see in the bottom right here. Yep. I mean, if if we decrease the drag, he's starting to pull more line out. Yep. Versus if we decrease, uh, increase. You obviously know this because yep. you're a fisherman. Um, but yeah, if if you're not getting into red territory on your meter there, I mean, you can you can get the drag up quite a ways. 1.3 there, very nice. Almost 1.4, 160, 160 dollars. Um, Rocky Lake is just as good as Emerald, if not better. Many trophy and uni trout to be caught there. Higher buy rate, better XP, and almost as much cash. All a cheaper travel cost. You, you know, you are you are full of other ideas. Explicit vision. I I, I dig it. For sure, it hasn't been my experience, but you know, it's always worth people uh, trying out different things and seeing what the best thing is for them. You know, if they love uh, trout fishing versus you know catching walleye over and over and over again, then uh, you know, power to it. I guess go for it. <clears throat> you could put out the earliest rod stand in the game and fish for both panfish and bass at the same time. Yeah, totally. I mean, if you have the money for it, for sure. Um, I think at this level, I, I was more focused on moving on to better fishing locations than uh, fishing with two different rods. Oh. But Dark Hornwort. He was Very catching nice. the day. They're not going to pay us any money for it. What's the deal? <laughs> it's terrible. Good catch. I know. They're missing out. Someone at Hobby Lobby would have loved that. <laughs> Rain snowed here in Minnesota yesterday. Oh, really? Okay. It has rained here for days. Bad flooding in some spots. If only this came like two or three weeks ago. Is, it, is that when the uh, the dry season hit you? What what was uh, what was going on two or three weeks ago? Am I not thinking right now? Probably two pounds love some snow the only place in australia that has that snows heavily in june is orange in new south wales interesting is it like an altitude sort of thing or how do you get snow there alex thomas how am i i'm doing quite well thanks for asking alex i was really bad though. Uh, press no. the wrong button see this is part of the reason why i made up characters nail i I blame everything on him when <laughs> stuff goes wrong. 
that's just uh, that's just how it goes. I do have the the shades here. The I famous, be wearing those the famous right now. alien shades. Yeah, have you ever worn alien shades before? I'll be honest, I don't think so. Oh, you kind of jealous. You have a, a unique. Wow, makes it a little bit more difficult to see, <laughs> but. <laughs> <laughs> See if you can catch a fish. You nobody, <laughs> nobody knows that. Yeah, it makes it quite a bit darker. <laughs> yeah, I'm like squinted. Oh, we got one. All right, look at, maybe it's good luck. That's right. Yeah, the fish shades. They we got them on. <laughs> I think you're the only other person I've ever had wear these. That's good. Wear these sunglasses. I'm, I'm proud. You no, know, it's I'm a big deal. Any kind of grass pick girl. Not a lot of money from him though. No, no. Okay. Let's just get for sure. But yeah, the big honor, big honor. Yeah. You thought outside of the box on your second account. I got you. Orange is such a weird town name. I agree. What is the best for XP at level 27? Hmm. Maybe. Um. I think at that level you've got options. You could be going to Falcon Lake. Um. You could be. If you wanted to just have more fun than anything, you could be going to, uh, to uh, Everglades and catching some of the saltwater fish just for funsies. Um, but if you're just wanting like the best for XP, uh, I mean, Explicit said to go to Rocky Lake. Maybe you should try Explicit's uh, his, uh, or their uh, advice. I'm not sure. I've never tried it. 27 though it's a rough time those kind of uh like between uh yeah in the 20s it gets it gets to be a little bit rough because there's there's a lot of options they all seem very similar to me so i mean you could go catch walleye for forever if you want to but i think at that level you kind of need to have fun and stick with the game at that point Jessica, Bailey, and Latham say, so thankful for your channel. You got me into this game, and I'm currently at the Congo trying to get to level 63 so I can catch some catfish at Marone River. Whoa, very nice. Well, cool. How are you uh, liking the Congo? Trout fishing at Rocky is underrated. Super fun with good results. There you go. Oh, that's the fire. Okay, I'm with you. I'm with you. Try out the Hunter Classic. Uh, you know, I was I was a uh, an almost dev with the Hunter Classic. If you uh, if you do any of the competitions in the Hunter Classic, I like designed all the uh, trophies for that game. So you can you can get one of my trophies if you uh, do those competitions. I was like OG Hunter Classic back in like oh 2000. 2011 2012 Derek asks how doing good Derek nice to meet you my man <laughs> on a little dry here after that uh That's that last piece of grass but <laughs> hopefully we'll catch a fish soon we'll give it one one more minute or one more fish All whatever right. comes faster I think it's the altitude, climate combined. Orange is just after the Blue Mountains, but it's also in the coldest part of Australia. Very interesting. Okay. Red Tails and Gilded are so much fun and ca good cash grind too. He is officially Bo with the glasses. Yeah, <laughs> he's he's me now. I think they should Feels become great. a part of Fishing Planet. I think they should add the alien glasses to Fishing Planet. Be a thing you can unlock. Make a vacations channel in the Discord so people can post short video and photos to share their vac. Yeah, I mean, I kind of just like threw that in like, I guess I envisioned it to be in like the photography section or something like that. But yeah, vacation might be a good idea for sure. 
Walleye was fun, quick for us anyway. Narrow purple spoon and just slay him for sure. Come on, bats. Give us something. Oh, there we go. Under classic, you got the snake bite bow. Uh, very nice. Actually, here, I got it over here. <laughs> so after playing it in call like uh in high school a little bit. They actually sold these at the Walmart. There we go. It's not a bad fish. I'm going to take that as uh, leveling up enough to, to head on to a new location. But um, they actually sold these at the Walmart. It is the Hunter 2013 edition. And uh, has a bunch of stuff that you're seeing right now actually came with, the, um, with this little... Thing. And I got it on sale for like, I don't know, 20 bucks or something like that. And it came with like a year of premium and a ton of different guns and equipment and stuff like that. Plus the snake bite bow. So a little bit of history right there. They don't sell that anymore. But uh, yeah, 100 classic. That's fun. All right. All right. We're moving on now. Ah, let's go. Uh, go back to the map now. We're pretending that we've leveled up to something. Let's, let's hit leave. Yes. You got some options at this. You could buy spinners and head to Rocky Lake. Or what we're going to do is um, we can actually, you can actually, we have a bait casting rod, um, which we're going to use. Go ahead and read. And go to mud water. Very nice. And then travel there. Level four, you unlock mud water. $1,200 to uh, travel there. So anytime you travel somewhere, you got to be thinking that, you know, you're going to have to buy a license too. We happen to have an unlimited license here, but 1200 uh, travel cost. Your your main goal coming here will be obviously getting back that twelve hundred. at the very <laughs> yes. least at the very least you need to get that twelve hundred dollars um i recommend the bottom left okay. yeah so let's head there and then we'll change the time to the uh yellow section and give the uh number three rod uh, we might bring it down show that off i get st croix pay so much money i agree all right so uh, bring up the inventory real quick. There we go, and go to three. All right, so we, uh, by this point on my <laughs> second account, I had upgraded to the value cast five foot three. Super short rod, um, shorter than me, and I'm short. Uh, but, but it also has this uh, casting reel here, which is decently strong. I mean, 6.15 pounds of uh drag there it's pretty good this early on in the game that gives you a lot of uh, room to work with especially you can take this and use it emerald for the uh, walleye as well however i am seeing that i only put 85 feet Maybe we just put too strong. Let's give it a go. Maybe, maybe it'll break. I believe. Alright, so we're going for uh, large mouth bass. Go ahead and uh, change the time. Better time. Right here. Alright, cast, cast away. Same thing as before, really. Yeah, feel free to get as close to the water as possible because with the 5 foot 3 rod, you, the casting distance is very minimal. Mm -hmm. But, it, you know, it's not... There's not a lot of water to work with. Same, you know? same type of retrieve. Oh yeah, yeah. I got the, got the casting spoon on there, so do similar retrieve. Uh, we should get instead of spotted bass, we should get largemouth bass here. Hopefully, one comes along here soon-ish. Not this cast, then maybe another one. Mm -hmm. 
alien glasses for a Halloween event, perhaps? Yeah, maybe so. Maybe so. You're level 54 and you don't know what to do to level up, can you help? You know, uh, you go into Weeping Willows and just kind of catching unique carp one after another is a, a decent way to go about it. Um, you can catch a lot through that. Oh, there we go. Fish on, fish on. Nice. Luckily, we got a pretty strong reel here to uh, deal with them, even though we only have 85 feet of line. Um, so it all, it's all going to work out, it looks like. There, there she is. Only Young, large mouth. Only a pound, $84. Doesn't seem that great. Yeah, we'll, we'll let him go. Let's get a little <laughs> bigger. Want something bigger. Catfishing Marone River. Yeah, catfishing Marone River is great. I mean, at that higher uh, bit of level, that's really your your best bet. Uh, moving on to like the Amazonian maze, it's hitting up those uh, catfish there. Oh, he's on. Came back for it. Little guy. Came here. back for it. This seemed like enough. Oh yeah, my god, you are just slaying yeah. the young ones. Seems, seems about right. <laughs> Probably not something we need to yell in public or anything, but yeah. <laughs> All right. Always catching the one pounders in real life. <laughs> you, you know, this is the one pound slayer. <laughs> That's what peeps, people call me. <laughs> you kept catching sturgeon, but I don't want to do that again. So I've been trying to think of other things to do to level up fast. Yeah. Understandable. Bounce the bottom gun, then use up the baits. Yeah. Reminds you of the older Deer Hunter. I remember the Deer Hunter games for sure. I had the first Deer Hunter game. Um, it came. It was like a. It was like the plastic CD, and it had an orange cover on it. It said Deer Hunter. It's very simple. Simple game. But uh, I remember playing on my computer. Please wow. be fish. Please be. The way I ripped him out of the water there, I just I don't think I don't so. Think so. <laughs> little pickerel. Uh, little pickerel. I feel like yeah. the fish we've been catching here are smaller than what we were catching yeah. in Lone Star. Goodness yeah. gracious. It's the best way to catch an owl perch at the Congo Discovery Pack. Yeah, I mean it's a. Uh, if I'm thinking of the right DLC, that's the one with the uh, the boat, right? I would uh, definitely recommend taking the, uh, uh, it is probably the Makanzi rod and just tossing out large minnows and stuff like that um, into deep holes. There's a number of different places where you can catch an owl perch, though the most famous one is by the waterfalls. Um, so just go after them, man. You might catch other stuff too, catfish and whatnot. They're all fun to catch. I think catching an owl perch over and over again is a little annoying, but yeah, really catch it. Catch bring up, numbers. Here, but... bring up bring up the inventory there. I want to see if there's anything better. You can go to shop. And then if we go to uh, lures. Yeah, click that. Get a good look at like the stuff they recommend. Um, and they're even small lures too. Number two. Um let's see. Go to the next page. See number one there too. So yeah, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. So we'll just have to see. Yeah, I'll we'll just have to keep up with it. At the moment, it doesn't even seem like Mudwire's worth it. No, I think we're, ca we're catching numbers, we're, just yeah, nothing big. Nothing big. At this point, I feel like we would have made more money just catching those uh, spotted bats alone. Let him go. Let him grow. I'm good right now. Thank you. Good? you. Skip that. Yeah, no, <laughs> the the carp are more fun than you think they'll be. There's a lot of people, especially in the United States, that that think about fishing for carp and don't think it'll be that fun. But yeah, fishing planet. Give the the you know, the best carp bait in the world or whatever video. Give that recipe a try and go out there and, I mean, what, there's five different unique carp in every single water body and there's like five or six water bodies. So, I mean, 
each one of those is going to be giving you pretty good money and XP, and then you're going to be catching five, you know, plus uniques a day. Like it's going to be a, it's going to be a heck of a day. This is not. Yeah, I'm struggling right now. <laughs> What's the deal? We're catching all sorts of. Harper, a good fight. Oh yeah, it was a fun sure. fish. It really big too. Some heavy, some heavy carbs. <laughs> yeah. And that's how we got canceled. I probably shouldn't talk slang, uh, slang young, young ones. <laughs> Anakin Skywalker style or something. I love watching your old streams when you catfish and carp fish. Carp fishing is a fun praise the Lord Jim Capham. Heck yeah, it's good stuff. Catches the biggins. How to catch Goliath tiger fish with the Congo discovery pack. Um, I mean, it's going to be a similar thing, honestly, just in a different fishing area. Um, cause I'm trying to think, do you get a uh, match rod with that too? I think you do. I'd give the match rod a try. Look up some of our, in fact, in some of our like first videos of going to the Congo, we, uh, we caught some decent, decent Goliath tiger fish. I'm pretty sure. So that might give you an idea of places to try. What should you do at level 63? Oh golly, I don't know. If you if that's not maroon or if that's not Amazonian maize, then you probably should stick to Maroon River going for the uh, catfish until you can get Amazonian maize. Unsuccessful. Yeah, press the wrong button again. Ah. Uh. I do not remember my when I did the the little uh, series video for this place. I don't. I thought it was it's saying uh, something. I thought it was uh, really good back. I'm starting to second guess myself. It doesn't always have to be the game, you know. It can be me. no way, no way, definitely game. Not a fan of carp in real life, that's why I totally skipped that lake, but it's actually pretty fun with that mix and spotting. It's almost as good as the sturgeon. Ah, I see, I see. You feel like mud water used to be way better too? Yeah. What's the deal? I don't think we've caught a keeper this entire time. I mean, no. I know we don't because we're zero. Yeah, but uh, yeah, that's frustrating. Bought five or six. Yeah, I think All the most was just over a pound. <laughs> <laughs> it's got you all worked out. <laughs> now you're making mistakes. <laughs> just want to catch it's a fish. Just so Come upset on. about it. <laughs> Try to use the golden cast spoon. Yeah, we could switch up casting spoon. Maybe that'll make a difference. Maybe the, only the big uh, large mouth are going after the gold one. Only the small ones are going after the silver one. All right. Struggling. Bring up your, uh, yeah, bring up your, switch to the gold. We're, if we still didn't catch much, uh, go spoons down below. It's just about switch. I'm sure, when you unlock that number, yeah, do that. Oh. Yeah. oh, Mason Bass Fishing Adventure. Thanks for the sub. All right, go ahead. Maybe this will make all the difference yep. in the world. I believe the stick. Leave. Yeah, the the log area is a pretty good place to fish as well. I think this little spot's not bad. Like I remember catching a ton of fish right here. Just, uh, we're struggling with the size at the moment. At this level, I don't think there's like larger hooks available. 
thinking like level four or five, six or something like that. Jean? Yes, indeed. Aha! Got him! And we still got fish. Yes. How's everyone doing? I'm new on the stream. I've been playing this game for almost two years. Love it besides the bugs. Heck yeah, man. Well, it's a, it's pretty fun. I I don't. <laughs> Yeah, there is a deep hole where you can catch bowfin. Um, I always felt the bow bowfin were a little bit more trouble than they were worth, but um, that's all right. All right, we're gonna give another spot a try. Just right. just a few more Let's casts. Do it. Anyway, go to um, go left, run run that away. Sure. to go fast. Uh, hold shift and W at the same time. There. Yes. Yeah. Nice. yeah. Sprinting. Yeah. Yeah, and see these two logs right here to the, to our right. We are gonna go more to the left, and we'll be able to catch. Okay. Okay. Thoughts on the Amazonian maze? Um. You know, I, I'm not quite sure the best place, like the best thing to fish for there. Ooh, this, got him. Uh, it's soft set. And you, yeah, I, I think I forgot to press the set button. <laughs> got him. Little picker. Yeah. I don't, I don't, I don't know, know that. if I've said that. I don't know if I've said that either. <laughs> Tight lines. Tight. That's about the only thing I... That was, uh, that was like, uh, fifth grade. <laughs> fifth grade through middle school. 2005 through 2008. I think that was a thing recently. Yeah, yeah, that was fairly recent. So this makes me miss, uh... Side. Oh, uh, I know. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, hopefully, there, there are some good. We've actually been in some boat. It's great. Go. Yeah. Nice. Love to hear that. that. Too. Air Pima are fun on the. Yeah. Pima are fun on the Amazonian maze. Lots of people like to go for the sharks. Um, some people swear on the electric eels being the way to go. Uh, the triura are a good way to go there. Um, there's a lot of good fish. Um, it's just kind of hard. It's just kind of hard to choose one of them to uh, stick with and grind. This was an actual new account. You would want to be keeping all the fish you catch for the money, because otherwise you would really struggle in this game. Yeah, no doubt. And uh, especially when you just spent twelve hundred dollars, you know, uh, traveling here, like you, you would be wanting to make up that twelve hundred dollars, no matter if it was a small, large mouth or not. Um, doesn't really matter in our situation, but yeah, for sure. The next spot, I'll, I'll keep everything just to see what we accumulate <laughs> up to. Just to see what we get. Yeah, we might. Uh, let's do. We'll do. This will be our last cast, and then we'll uh, we'll change up our gear. It is eight thirty, so we'll change up our gear and uh, and head to uh, Rocky Lake. I think it is fair to say we did not make our twelve hundred back. Then. Yeah, <laughs> I think if anything, we like maybe got to uh, eight nine. I was gonna say seven. Eight. Yeah. yeah. So. We would have still had to catch a few more. It's fish. It's something good. Saw it skipping across the water. Mmm. Oh well. 
Okay, well, mud water, not what I remembered it being, but uh, that's interesting. Let's uh, go ahead and leave. I think we'll uh, do a little halftime show while we uh, get our uh, gear ready for um, Rocky Lake, and then we'll get back into it. So see you in a few minutes. Angles Halftime Show brought to you by none of these brands. Now a message from our sponsor. Hey man, yeah, so I know like uh, you like video games and stuff, but have you ever considered like watching some real life fishing or hunting if you like the game so much? I mean, I don't want to make you do anything you're uncomfortable with or something, but uh, like if you like it in the video game, you know, it's like at least 100,000 times cooler to do that stuff in real life, right? And you could like watch all of that on the MDO, you know, the modern day outdoors, but where Bo goes out in real life and does some of the same stuff you see him do in the video games. I mean, I think it's pretty cool if you ask me but what do i know i'm just a voice you've never even heard of you know i mean i could be in a prison for forgery or fraud or something i mean you wouldn't trust a guy like that but luckily i'm not in prison i'm just i'm just some disembodied voice telling you to go check out bo's other channel the modern day outdoorsman so like go on your phone or open it up on another tab and subscribe okay it's like the fastest growing outdoor channel on youtube and you don't want to miss being a part of that you know i mean don't look up the legitimacy of my claim but that's what people tell me okay so yeah i'm like talk past my time but yeah hopefully all these clips laying in the background will convince you to go check it out i'm just gonna go wait for them to transition to another screen which should happen anytime and now a glimpse into gaming months past hurry up and move already ice guy crazy dude oh it's the fisherman's life for me fishing on the deep deep sea garden Ice Lakes, <gasps> Ice Lakes, that's the game name. Suck it. <laughs> oh yeah, throw on the handbrake here. Turn right to go left, I learned that from cars. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> I've been trucking my entire life. All right, snow, mud. Look at, I mean, look at how I handle this truck like it's nothing. Oh, you got me joshing me. Tonka! Go, Tonka, go! Kale's animation's a little off, but I love that he tries, you know? That's what matters. Bingo, bango, bongo! Oh, two in a row! And the third. What up, bro? My name's Loranius. What's yours? Thanks for coming to this playground. Where I get to murder you. Yeah, chase after your shield, idiot. What are you looking at the wrecked office? <laughs> are you joking? It's so random. Oh my Jesus! What did you say? What did you say? You can't hear anything because of the waterfall? <laughs> I'm going crazy. Between the waterfall and the rain. <laughs> and this guy singing. <laughs> oh. Why? Why? Oh, stupid microphone. Got 13 seconds. I don't know if you're gonna make it. Oh, it would be awful if someone blocked you from getting in the circle. Just kidding, just kidding. I'm not mean. Or am I? Get out of the circle. We're the king of the mountain. Oh! <laughs> now, back to your scheduled broadcast. I just wanted to say... Thanks. Welcome to... All right. We're back. We should be prepared. Um, I've given us a few different uh, spinners to try um, here at Rocky Lake. We are switching to a feather light rod. Um, spinning reel combo here. We're going to be going to Rocky Lake. I need a license. A little license here and then travel and catching a bunch of trout. Hopefully. We'll see. Big ones, we'll see. Yeah. Um, um, let's go to either one. 
specific system. I haven't been around. It looks smaller than our other two locations. Yeah, it's just like one big odd. <laughs> Um, nice so, scenery. yeah, feel free to cast wherever you want. I have the recommendations I can throw, but we'll just uh, give you, you, uh, see how I do, just guessing. Yeah, yeah exactly. You know, this is a beginner play. Give it, give it a go. Like the video just for the halftime show. I got this super lightweight spinner now, eighth ounce, so definitely gonna take a little bit longer to go down. You're new to the game too, and you had a question. When you hook a fish, I notice arrows going either clockwise or counterclockwise around your reel. Does anyone know what that means? Um, I mean, honestly, I think it's just like a little animation showing you uh, reeling in or it pulling out line. Uh, I don't know if there's any more to it, Dion. Um, but that's, uh, that's how I would take it anyway. It is a slow sinker. For sure oh, a slow yeah, sinker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Is there a way to make the fight not such a battle? I've been hooked to a fish and had to fight and try to understand the technique. Yeah, I mean, honestly, it just kind of comes down to um, holding on. You can, you know, um, uh, ooh, there we go, John. We can increase the drag there with that pulse, but not all the way that way. One more. Safe. But, um, but yeah, um, it just kind of comes to upgrading your gear is usually the best way to do it. Ooh, golden trout. Trophy golden wow. trout. Now we're talking. All right. Well, this seems better than mud water already. <laughs> Good God. Keep her. Yeah. Golly. I was getting excited. I was hoping we might be able to do a little uh, unicorn dance, but not yet. Not yet. Havoc fishing? No way. I was watching your stream and re-downloaded the game, and then I get into your game. Crazy wow. havoc! I'm telling you, life is full of moments like this. You gotta embrace it. We'll fish on again. Yep. Let's go. Catch more now perch on the match rod than the bottom rod. Hey, some days you know they're higher up. Some days they're down below. Just gotta go with it. We're nailing these. Golden yeah, trout right now. I'm now starting to appreciate how big that fish was. <laughs> Got that trophy. So they do give you uh, different money per pound, uh, depending upon if it's just a normal or a young or a trophy mm -hmm. or a unique. Uh, so they have different rates for different sizes of fish. So just be, you know, if you were to catch, for instance, a 1.2 pound fish that was just normal. Mm -hmm. like it may only give you a hundred dollars per pound however if you caught a 1.25 pound fish that was now a trophy because that 0.5 was all it needed to become a trophy like they might give you 150 dollars okay. just for it being a trophy yep. versus normal that's kind of whoa top notch and look at that got some bait coins those uh those bait coins can be used to uh change time or they can uh buy new equipment gear stuff like or just some neat look at stuff. that stuff added two more to the arsenal that's right uh, this place gives you flashbacks make sure you throw those fish off the rocks yeah um there is a thing where the fish might fight you and this rock for some reason has a perfect angle and you can fish will fight you and up that rock shoot up in the like air a ramp like, like 20 feet i like that it's crazy That's it's cool. like a rocket fool again how are you hope you had a great easter with your family i did catch a couple of fish with the center line pole hey right on what did you uh what did you catch there fool again 
He got a center line pull. You ever heard of that? No, I have not. He said the line runs through the pull. Whoa. How does I've never seen Wow. That. I've never seen that. Kind of interesting. Where'd you get something like that? Huh? Yeah. Interesting. Sounds cool. Sounds like a video idea. <laughs> I'm testing it out. Yeah. Look at that XP. Heck yeah. You've got a trophy golden trout. Very nice, RJ. Another one. I'm fishing for carp. What's some tips? Fishing for carp. Where uh where at? Where are you fishing for them for? Or, or where? Yeah, whatever. Grayson. Spot. Have you caught a trophy striped bass? I, I believe so. Fish, a little rainbow. rainbow okay. Small All guy. Right. Or... Not mad about that. Change no, up no, the species no. a little bit. <laughs> exactly right. Variety. This is a variety show. It's a variety <laughs> fish. Get both. Let's go. 20 cents in real life money right there. Yeah, that's a good way of putting it. That's kind of interesting. Bent Rod Expeditions right on. Thank you, Bent Rod. Ooh, fish on again. You love how you get awarded bait coins for snagging weeds. Yeah. Yeah, in a game where uh, you focus on catching fish. Very cheap guy though. Yeah. Only thirty. Almost a pound and only thirty-three dollars. Is. Oh, angles made me download the game. Hey, I, I didn't make you do anything. <laughs> <laughs> At least it's a free game. I can't. I don't. You know, I don't have to feel too bad about it. Do you like freshwater or saltwater fishing better? You know, growing up in a, in a state that had zero access to saltwater, um, you know, I might have a, a soft spot in my heart for uh, freshwater fishing. And uh, and I do think, you know, because of river monsters, oh, that is fish. Him. What's that? Yes, stem. Oh, that was really Whoa! Sick why in the world he came out of the last second and grabbed it? <laughs> I was just bringing it up. <laughs> All right, That's we'll awesome. take that. Yeah, golly, that came out of nowhere. <laughs> that was awesome. Um, but yeah, I, I think because of river monsters, you know, it's made people appreciate freshwater fish a little bit more, especially the uh, the gnarly ones. But uh, but saltwater fishing is sweet too. Um, especially since, you know, for someone like me, like going saltwater fishing is usually some like tied to a vacation of some sort. So, uh, thinking of saltwater fishing is always fun. Makes me think of vacations and whatnot. Sunny weather. Better than this. Yeah, no doubt. No, 30 no, no, degrees, no. And 30 degrees and 30 degrees and rainy. <laughs> We're almost there though. Oh, almost. Yeah. It's getting what did you catch on April Fools? I caught myself a, uh, um, what was it? Uh, a 13 hour car ride from Kansas to, uh, to Milwaukee. So that was fun. No, uh, no, no jokes there. That's just what it was. So much fun. <laughs> no fool there, <laughs> yeah. that's for sure. <laughs> no fooling around. It was just a car ride. <laughs> you lose a trophy rainbow or uni cut. Did you like your flathead that you caught? I recently posted a pic in the Inner Life Fishing Channel. You know, I think I did see that. Yeah. That's pretty cool. I mean, anytime you catch a flathead catfish, I mean, it's like, uh, Kind of like catching a freshwater shark or something like that. It's kind of fun to catch something uh, like that. I guess up here in Wisconsin, you have like pike and muskie and stuff, so it's, it's not the same. But not a lot of sharks up here. No, that'd be the, that'd be kind of the the closest thing to a freshwater shark. Yep. But, but back in Kansas, no, a flathead is is like your uh, your apex predator there. So it's uh, it's sweet. Do people still call you BZ sometimes? You know, very rarely, actually. I thought the transition 
I was, you know, I was really kind of 50-50 on how the transition would go, but uh, people have really embraced it, and I really, uh, really appreciate it, so. I rarely see people call me BZ. If anything, it's, you know, some people, like, in the chat of uh, Fishing Planet, and my my club name's still BZ Hub, so it's, it's whatever. I don't really care. Where could you find people to fish with? Because I don't play unless I have someone somebody to fish with because you get bored um you know we have a f uh, find a friend channel on our discord you could uh you could easily go to and ask if anyone wants to fish uh that could be a good option who knows uh or you could just ask around on the main channel if anyone's at a certain place or just make make friends you know yeah, there's a chat you can you start chatting with people can't promise that all of them are gonna be great but you know some of them might be trying to decide if you should grind Congo or should go to different places as I level up because I bought the Congo discovery pack uh, I mean if you bought the Congo discovery pack I I would probably do the Congo there will be some time in the future maybe where you wish you could go back to the Congo but you already bought the DLC and you can't buy it again so I guess just uh, use it as much as you can bream and a salmon got the pole for your from your fishing store it's a two-piece pole and to feed the line through you have to go from top first it's such a it's such a i mean like to to like spool the rod you have to go through the top and then go to the spool and then spool it from there it makes sense i guess it kind of be the same with the regular rod <clears throat> very interesting idea though yeah grace and scott love your videos thanks man is it worth fishing at Selang with the 60 pound rods or stay at San Joaquin now? I'm level 51. I mean, people swear on Selang and the tame in there. I'd say go give it a try. If anything, just come back to the, the sturgeon, but you never know. What part of Kansas are you from? You live in Dodge City. Oh, very nice. Um, I grew up in Salina, Kansas, right in the middle of the state. And then I moved to uh, Lawrence, Kansas for, uh, for college. And then went to Pittsburgh, Kansas afterwards for my first job and then moved to Overland Park in Kansas City uh, where I moved, you know, past couple of years. So, yeah. Been around in Kansas. What is the best Everglade setup? You know, it's just going to be a good, like, casting rod or something like that. Something where you can cast some spinner baits or some walkers or frogs or buzz baits, that sort of thing, you know. I, I think that's usually a good way to go. When will the next beginner series be uploaded? Oh God, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Whenever I can find someone on Fiverr to, to, to level up for me while I work on other stuff. My dudes, what's up? Turpin, Turpin Steve. Very cool. Yeah, doing some fishing. You're in Kansas City, Missouri, not Kansas. Okay, right on. Pretty close to where I was anyway. Have you ever been fishing in Southern Illinois? Some good lakes here for fishing. I have no doubt, but I have not. No, I haven't. You have not as well? Nope, not, no, not Southern no, Illinois, no. no. Half day bow last week, limits of yellowtail and albacore in three hours. Dang, man, that's awesome. What about the saltwater Everglades setup? You know, you know, you'd need a pretty decent uh, spinning reel or casting uh, reel setup to kind of go for those guys. But it, it could it could pay off. You could end up using it for the pike at St. Croix as well. Um, so give it a go. Get something, you know, oh golly, in the high teens, low 20s or something like that. As close to 20 as possible, I would think, would be a pretty decent setup. If you could get some around 22, 24, I feel like that would get you in a good place for the uh, the pike at St. Croix. Um, so that could be your goal anyway. Did you fish for catfish of the Congo or something else at level 48? Yeah, I mean, catfish, Nile perch, uh, Goliath tigerfish, African tigerfish, those are all good, good options. Um, I think the, the catfish will probably make you less money than the other options, but uh, still fun to catch other fish. Ooh, cutthroat. Young cutthroat. There we go. Lots of trout. 
New species. New species. I'm waiting. What do you think? Cronenberg sent us some fireworks. Hot dang, man. What do, what do you think? Do you want to? So we have uh, 40 minutes left. Do you want to continue fishing here? Or do you three minutes of it? What are your thoughts? I think we should hit walleye at some point. Yeah, let's go ahead and go to the wall. Right. Go ahead and get, get, go to the map uh, escape and the map and leave. We did well here. Did I think well. we did too. Yeah, how much money did we end up making? Uh, 727 without premium. Not thousand dollars with premium. Pretty cool. <clears throat> 3B Fortnit. Fortnite. What's up, bro? You're my best YouTuber. Oh, man. Ah, oh, dang. Well, thank you. Appreciate it. Um... Okay, so we are going to be heading to Emerald Lake. Go to the inventory real quick. Go right through here. <laughs> and equip the narrow spoon on this thing. Go to spoons. There you go. A narrow spoon. Move that over. This is actually a bait coin lure, but it's like, it is the best thing to use. So now we go to Emerald Lake. We should be all set. We are going to do a few things that will keep you beyond. That's what I like to hear. Juggling rods like <laughs> uh, uh -oh. Go to the dock there. Go fishing. So, for you, Emerald Lake is like... It's like the whole game up to this point... It's like a tutorial, almost. Okay. You've been learning, you've been figuring out how the game works. Emerald Lake is like getting a key and unlocking a gate the rest of the mm -hmm. game. It is such a huge step. Okay. Um, it really just opens up everything. So go ahead, go to the, the end of the dock there. We are gonna turn, I'm gonna get rid of the chat. Sorry for those people that are chatting with us there. Um, and then, yeah, you I was going to jump, but I <laughs> don't know the button for it. <laughs> okay. Oh, going for a joy ride. Yeah, you got it. You you press on. W now. Oh. Holy cow. Whoa, I'm going so fast. Right. I was about to send it right into the beats. <laughs> All right, where are we going here? Just going right back to the dock. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> I really thought I, thought I was going to I wasn't going to stop you from having fun, though. It sounded fun. Take the boat out for a spin. Yeah. Try to go on the back side of it. Park the boat behind. Right where I got. Yeah, or just, you know, over here. Put the U in here. Yeah. Just, it doesn't. Bow up right against the dock. That'll be fun. Uh oh. <laughs> Jeez. It's a little bit. Just with your big toe. Touch it. Nice. <laughs> All right, press R. And uh, you can use the WASD now with your. Ah. Uh, that's pretty sweet. And just go up to that. Step up. Let's see. All right, so. There we go. Uh, press nine. Nine is how you access your rod holder, your rod stand, and put that. Kind of facing out towards that corner. This way? Yeah. Little... And now we're going to change the time with T to nighttime, which doesn't look very good, but we're going to go with it anyway. So in the purple there, we haven't done this yet. Right here, we're... Uh, go with 21. Like right on. Yeah, not quite. Right. Forward time. And now we are going to take our uh, feeder rods, which should be four. 
All right, toss that out towards that big tree. Yeah, not like a uh, three quarter way or so. Yeah, just to the right a little. Any, this honestly, tree. anyway. So just toss her out there. They know, heading out. Brings back the sturgeon, sturgeon fishing uh, trip. All those little spoons and throw that in there. Now you can also hit shift in one or two or whatever to access that run. Oh, okay. Then get the other one. Toss that out in a similar location. If they are biting on small minnows, those will just be going off repeatedly. But there's a possibility that they're not. So that's why we have the other rod. And press uh, two, is that what? Maybe. Yeah, there we go. Oh, there's a fish on, okay. Shift two, hold that. Works. Fish on, reel that sucker in. I know. Just constant. It's gonna be constant. Until we get about God, I'm all I fish in. Thirty pounds of oil. Switch stuff. Finally caught you live. Hello, Psycho. I remember it. you said don't buy DLC. DLCs can kind of ruin the game, yeah. I always recommend premium if you have some money you want to spend on it. Jinxie, thanks for the sub. Uh, 2.6, 339. Not too bad there. Yeah, uh, yeah, 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 keep that sucker. 117 XP. Well, it's like five times as much XP as we were getting yeah. from the uh, trout. The other one, uh -oh. so throw yeah, that one down, down in the rod holder and pick that one up. So you can also shift two to throw it down, or shift okay. one or whatever. Then you can shift three to pick that one up. Go. That one on. We haven't even been able to throw a lure no. yet. Back and super forth. busy, super busy. Subbo, two and a half beef shoulder on one of the pits and watching your stuff. Hey, right on, Octor. I'm I'm jealous. <laughs> You'll have to uh, sh send some of that smoked beef uh, shoulder to me. That's I have amazing. A, yeah, I have a bunch of. Uh, can't see barbecue that I haven't been able to use on anything since I moved here. So we'll uh, put it to use. Very nice. Bad day. Keeping everything. Keeping it. Tossing it out there and maybe we'll get a... Uh... It's a three. Just toss it out towards the same tree. Uh, do a uh, kind of twitch or uh, stop and go or whatever. Whatever floats your boat. What's the most exciting fish you've caught? Mmm, what's the most exciting? I feel like I know what yours is anyway. Oh yeah. What, 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 tell them about it. I caught a 46 inch muskie up in uh, Eagle River, Wisconsin. Um, that was actually two summers ago now. Great experience, haven't caught a, a fish that big in my life. Probably <laughs> won't catch another fish that big in my life, so. It was, a, was a good one. Probably nothing as exotic as, as Bo here. It's caught some pretty cool fish in his day. What, what's yours? I, I'm i going back and forth. The, um, the snakehead were a cool fish because you fish for them on top water. So they would, they, I mean, they would just, I mean, f I, they honestly attacked lures just to break you basically like they, they just wanted to kill whatever was on that water. I don't even think they really wanted to eat it. Um, there was, uh, there was a number of fish while we were fishing that would just half of their body would just float past the boat because the snakeheads would come up, bite their tail off 
and then leave them to die, basically. Oh, shift two. Oh, Ooh, well. picked up. Look if this guy's still there. Um, so the, the, the snakehead were super aggressive um, in that way. So that kind of made them a fun fish. Um, but at the same time, you don't. If you see an alligator gar out of water, they're, they kind of seem like an alligator a little bit. You can kind of see how they kind of get that name. However, when you hooked up with one and they come up to the top of the water and they realize that they're hooked up, they do this kind of last ditch effort where they will jump as much as they can out of the water. And so their head will go like three or four feet, depending upon how big they are, out of the water as they try to basically get the hook out of their mouth. Um, and in that moment where they're at the top of the water and you see their whole six, eight foot long body there, they really do strike you as an alligator. Like they have the, the head for it. They're dark green. I mean, they look like an alligator at the top of the water. Um, and then when they do their big old splash and try to get away from you, I mean, that's just a ton of fun. Especially when it's out in a neighborhood lake where people are like on the beach with their dogs and stuff. And you're just like, you, like, I know this fish only eats fish, but seriously, I mean, it makes you think twice about swimming there. What's up? What, what's everyone else's? Everyone have a, a favorite fish they've caught? 30 inch pike caught in Wisconsin. Very nice, RJ. That's sweet. Let's see. use shrimp in the heron river i swear it's the best bait for bass as long as you cast near the two dead trees in the middle of the river it's interesting how long did you fight that thing which which one the muskie or or uh, or the gar which one Derek? what's the best fish for xp at the congo you know the darn thing is with the the muskie and the gar i bet it's a pretty similar pretty similar story sometimes when you catch those big fish they're how do i put this like there's such a rush to get them to the boat <laughs> that you like the the fight is not near as long as you think it will be yes. you you <clears throat> get hooked up on it and then in a matter of you know 10 uh, so, sometimes even less than 10 seconds you've got it to the boat and they're yeah. they've netted it Cause it's uh it's more about like not losing the fish at that point mm -hmm. so yeah my when when my muskie hit it was during the figure eight so it was right at the boat yeah no no fight in I scooped it up yeah uh, pretty green at that point but yeah matters as you caught it at that right. point yep love those feather light rods so much fun double act Ooh. in real life just joined the discord right on octorok gray trout in quebec wow. 36 and a half inch pike that's Ooh. no joke Ooh. oh the musky oh, yeah, yeah this yeah, is yeah. a beast trophy walleye this there time very nice almost five pounds second six, trophy six, of the day two. That's uh, that's that is definitely the the kind of fish you want to be catching out here. Just a new player making making big money and big XP like that, and uh, you're gonna see yourself go from, you know, level eight, level ten to level twenty pretty quickly, and that's when you kind of get into those uh, dirty twenties, and it's gonna be it's gonna be kind of hard to level up to thirty. Um, you're gonna be questioning yourself on whether you're doing the best thing. <laughs> You're going to be wondering about Everglades. You might be wondering about Falcon going back and forth between things. And honestly, at this point, I just, I just tell people, you know, go with whatever sounds fun. Just don't get bored playing the game. I don't know if one is technically a lot better than the other, but uh, if you're going to quit playing the game because one of them is so boring, you just don't want to play anymore, then that's obviously not the option you should be going with. <laughs> 
You fish for Florida Gar and clean them. Oh, wow. Only time I've seen a Florida Gar is in this fishing planning game. So, very cool. Your favorite fish you've caught was a 23-inch coastal cutthroat trout back in February 4th. Or February. Four-pounder in real life uni cutthroat. Ooh, very nice. That's awesome. Any channel you look at is going to recommend Emerald for Walleye. It's the easiest and most effective way for leveling up. Yeah, it's... It just seems to be seems to be that way anyway. Pretty pretty simple setup to uh, get out here, especially if you just want to start with the narrow spoon. I mean, it's pretty effective, especially because you can fish for them at nighttime, so you can switch the time consistently um, after you've caught a good amount of fish just to, just to get away. Here we go. Oh, I'm not reeling. <laughs> You can just switch. Oh, it'll you put, can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It'll hmm. put the it'll put the rod in its place. Uh, uh, fancy, fancy. The thought. Uh huh. Not hard. A lot of fun to catch. Oh, I bet so. Cow. Yeah, that's a good bass, man. Pounder. Where was that? Uh, Bronco. I'm gonna take a guess at Texas. <laughs> Texas or Florida? Texas or Florida? <laughs> good guesses. Comes trouble. Yeah. I would say this is a good this one. Day or two ago, my county had a tornado and lots of wind damage. Oh my goodness, Shepard. Well, it's, thankfully, it seems like you're okay. Where was that at? Here, press that. Uh... Golly! Uh, got it. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh. What's up, bud? <laughs> <laughs> Oslo has been uh, entertained by Tony this entire time he's been here. And it's uh, his new best friend, I'm pretty sure. So, <laughs> say hi to everybody. Yeah, yeah. Enjoy everyone. The, the, the horse perspective is the making us ball. yeah making us both look super small back here I'm back uh the red YouTube and yeah, we're back and we're back mm. oh don't you even <laughs> start well I got two hands one for the game yeah. one for the dog <laughs> yeah yeah who needs <laughs> who needs two hands for fishing hi you're from the Philippines you're always watching your vids hey well right on it's awesome. Well, thanks. I appreciate it. Philippines. We'll have to go there sometime to uh, do some fishing. In the Philippines. My uh, my mentor back in college was Filipino. He used to go to uh, the Philippines every so often. Cool guy. Glad to catch the stream. How you all doing? We're doing quite well. We got 20 more minutes of uh, walleye and whatever else we want to do. Got options. Oh, we might be going too fast. Oh yeah, gosh. Gotta that's watch everyone. Oh, that's good. Sneak up. That's when I was trying to reel it in fast <laughs> earlier. Up, up as. Yeah. Code with a capital T. Mm -hmm. If you get time, look up Okuma. That's the type of pole. Sabiki UTG. Interesting. Okay. Might have to look it up on my phone before the <laughs> chat disappears. Okuma. BJ. Sub. Oh, I do see it. So many. 
<laughs> yeah, it's awesome. <laughs> Got the alien. I glasses. took a picture of you. <laughs> It's a great edit on the air. Yeah. Right, it, it did it time. all itself. That's good. I, just, I got it, man. Stuff. Uh, I should just wear it at this point. It's probably <laughs> save everyone a lot of time. Uh -oh. Yeah, so that might be a move. So every once in a while, the bite will slow down to just about nothing. Um, so you can uh, either reel in all the rods and uh, and change the time because it won't allow you to change time without with rods out. Okay. Or what you can do is uh, reel in one rod and because we're so close to one of the other travel points, you can just bring up. You can press escape and click go to map. Click on that spot over there. Go fishing. And then you can just go back to that other spot, press escape again, and just oh. go back to the spot. And it'll it, reboot? Yeah, and it'll, or actually even easier than that, but I just didn't think about it until now, is that you could have hopped in the boat hmm. and then gone back to the dock and all the, all the rods would have been put away. You even reset the Um, So nice. now we can change the time. And I recommend changing it by at least two hours so you can move it to... Yeah, the two o'clock, three o'clock, and uh, and then just do it all over again, basically. The rods down. The buttons are number the... not. Easier, uncle. There's only. <laughs> have you caught a trophy striped bass? I'm sure I have at some point. I don't know where, probably uh, San Joaquin or something like that. Your, your favorite map is Nahara, I got you. You finished off all the explorer, uh, the exploration missions. Very nice, damn, man, that's a lot of work. You got an 80 pound tuna in the Bahamas, nice. Oh. That's sweet. <clears throat> You remember what type of tuna it is? My knowledge of tunas isn't very good. I'm really looking forward to this ocean map and fishing planet that my uh, knowledge of tuna will get better. Are you going to be seeing the eclipse on Monday? I'll, I'll try. I'll try my best. I haven't. I've been seeing the eclipse uh, glasses for sale, and I'm yet to buy buy some. I don't know. Oh, you can change the time with rods out, though? Did they change that? Maybe my information's uh, not up to date. On, fish on. You want. It did work pretty well there. Yeah. Just a little reboot. <laughs> fish Got back in the, in the exactly spot. Right. Wait a few hours to give them, uh, give them a little break. Heck. Want to fish the Amazonian maze and catch so many tropical fish. Yeah, a lot of different exotic species there, David. A lot of fun. And I mean, you will get a chance to go for uh, some of them in the other uh, locations, you know? Uh, uh, Maku Maku and Maroon. They might not be the best places to catch big fish that make you a lot of money, but you will be able to catch some of those exotic fish. So definitely get out there just to just to experience it, even if it's not the best of the best. The honors. Yeah, best fish for XP at the Congo. It's it's a toss up because I mean. The African tigerfish, Goliath tigerfish, they all give you good XP. Um, it's really about what you can catch the most efficiently. Um, usually people will go with the Nile perch. Uh, usually they can catch Nile perch uh, pretty pretty quickly back to back and they all give good XP. So, um, so give, give it a go. Go for the Nile perch, go for the tigerfish, whatever sounds fun.
being able to switch the time with rods out is the best patch ever and gotta be up there gotta be up there 15 more minutes you unless you're ready so to far. unless you're ready to switch to something oh boy here we'll reel it's in this right last now. one all right i like that idea reel in this last one and we'll switch it up that's oh. low <laughs> oh, no, still there. Yeah. A attention hop. <laughs> beast to fish. No, oh, you never knew. Can't your, beat uh, it. Night would be so full. <laughs> You'll be posting barbecue pics in the Discord? Right on, man. Little guy to end the day here yeah. while I'm fishing. Level 256. All right, head out to the uh, main map. We're going to make sure we have a few uh, things that we'll need, and then we're going to head off. Close. We might already have... Bad. Inventory and go to number six just to make it. And go to templates. Have one that is the best route. There you go. And is it not going to let us hit it? Yeah, go ahead. 0. 0.008 titanium layer. Go to lines and go. inventory now and try to equip it again there we go all right the darn thing is we don't even need it because i want to equip different go to go to home top there and then go to the line there and then scroll way down almost to the bottom we are looking for a fluorocarbon leader there it is okay and then i'll scroll up a little bit because we're looking for something bunnies Maybe the 24 pound one. Oh, no, that one. 24.9. Right awesome. All right. Now I'll put the buzz bait back on. Fell off. Did that. Go down. Yeah. Maybe spoons with one above it. I can scroll. Oh my gosh. Dog. <laughs> Oh, this is hot. Go to the backpack. It's that bug I was telling you. Um, go now. Go straight. Now go. Huh. We're gonna find out which one it's in. <laughs> hey, it it might, there we go. Drag that over. Sheesh. He's a wizard. All right. Now we're ready. Yeah, give that a go. We might. Right, um, Zurai, thanks for the uh, subscribe. Um, uh, let me, let me get Go one ahead. last thing, last thing, let's make sure, which is, walker, I'm gonna throw in a pretty decent little walker just in case they're not going for the buzz bait all that much, put in there, options, trailer was big oh yeah all right then we're gonna head to the everglades we should make up for all those super small large mouth yeah <laughs> let's see <laughs> anything's better than a one pounder so. yeah i recommend yeah. the bottom left one there's some people who swear by some of the other ones but yeah, we're gonna go with this catch you on the next stream hey take care fooligan have a good one Love the South American maps, heck yeah. All right, I always recommend just tossing out towards those lily pads. What's that? Yeah. 
and just bring it, get it as close as you can to without getting hooked into them and just grin. You might have to change the time. Well, so yeah, it's like your fast and speed. speed. Just two. Speed. We're going four speed. We're going three speed. There you go. All right, that was a warm-up cast. That was a warm-up <laughs> cast, just to test the waters. Good to get a feel. Can you join? If you can, yeah. We're just doing a random uh, random little uh, room right now, so it's quite possible. You can zoom in on this, too. I mean, you can literally, like, watch them come up and take it off the top somehow. Nice. That's right. <laughs> I wasn't holding Z when I did the zoom. Uh, okay, I got so. you. You can. Okay, and uh, T. Oh, oh, oh. Really around. <laughs> T. Now go there. There you go. Now. Okay, oh nice. wow, it's beautiful. Much brighter out. Must be a cold day. Had to hit it up in the middle of the day or something. Is this crossplay? It is not. Whoa, fish on, fish on. I zoom out. You can hit Z. It'll auto. Oh, it does for you. Yeah. All right. Now you're. Like, I thought you had to use the. Uh... Yeah. If you don't think I'm an amateur, this is showing you right now. <laughs> yeah. You thought I was bringing in a pro. This is my late April fool, so. All right. Three, 3.7 pound bass. Yeah. I'll take that. Peacock. You make me happy in real life. Yeah, I'd be, I'd be pretty happy. Tony, you're the best. <laughs> there you go. Thank you. Thank you very much, Derek. Fish on again. I'm quick. It's yeah. quick, man. Can't even get it to the top of the water. That's how you like it, though. A large mouth this time? No, another peacock. Nice. Need a largey here. All right, all right. Largey to finish the night. Large, largey. Yes. That's what we need. Something over a pound. If we could get great. those unicorns dancing. You know what? Do you know I don't. I'm, I'm excited for when it comes because <laughs> it's gonna come here. <laughs> it was a it's a long time joke. Okay. The biggest fish you can catch in this game are unique. Okay. Unique fish. Yep. That's their size. Um, and so I don't know why, but at some some point, I referred to the unique fish. as unicorn. <laughs> And so, uh, it's so I found a dancing unit. That's great. It's a, it's a bit of a celebration. I'm kind of sad that I didn't catch on it. He voiced the, uh, and his name was John Cena. <laughs> Bo Angles. Oh and my then gosh. And then the, the unit coming out and started to. It's a, it's a huge oh, thing. I'm really sad that I didn't I know. catch one. Jeez. It's big thing missing out on. Gives me a good reason to come back and catch one. <laughs> do, do it again. <laughs> Which species of panfish do you like to catch the most? You know, uh, I I never know how to like uh how to see it because. Some people don't refer to uh, crappie as panfish. Like, they don't think of crappie as panfish, but like uh, other people do. Um, crappie are fun. I, I, of all the, like, sunfish and, like, bluegill and stuff like that, I have always thought green sunfish were my favorite. Um, I don't know if it's just because they were always readily available to me back in Kansas or what, but they're always a ton of fun on a fly rod. You can uh, learn how to fly fish and catch little green sunfish. They're a ton. So, 
I don't know. What what about you, Shepard? You have a favorite and fish? Not really, no. <laughs> no. Oh, fish. Oh, that guy's caught on a weed there. Yeah. You can also hold shift. It's real. Okay. Get rid of him. Sorry. Get up in there. Ooh, a good one too. Taking out line. Hey. Oh, the heat Can is on. Can we get on. the unicorns? The heat is on. I'm nervous. I'm starting to sweat. <laughs> you like crappie the most? Right on. Crappies are fun. You get them in season and they're biting. It's, it's the best. Size bass. I'm going to say he's probably a trophy, but it would be nice. Ah! Seven pounds. Seven pound trophy. Largey. What's a unicorn? Is it double digit? Uh, so, you know, honestly, you're pretty close. I think they start shoot. around eight, so. That one hurts. That one hurts. Oh, it's close. <laughs> that would have been close. perfect right at the end <laughs> there. Got three more minutes. All you right. still got a chance. Yep. It's still there. Within reach. Please. My MDO shirt is coming tomorrow. Hey, right there on, man. Which one did you end up getting? I'm curious. Apparently just subscribing you one day ago of your content. Thank you, Artha. That's awesome. What's your best looking fish in Fishing Planet? Oh, God. I gotta be the Frankenfish or something like that. The craziest looking thing. <laughs> I'd say it's one of my one of my favorites. Could I add you? Yeah, you can send me a friend request. Here we go. Derek says, yeah, darn it all. <laughs> what do you think is the best tasting fish? I think crappie and catfish are your go-tos for fried fish. I got you. We, uh, my brother and I actually did a, uh, a taste comparison between um, catfish, tilapia, and common carp, and uh, and he preferred the common carp of the three. So it's uh it's hard, it's it's hard for me. Um, I think I think cod's a good fried fish. Uh, I've had a good a good amount of different fried fish, and, and cod's a, a pretty s stable. Uh, option i guess um but yeah not really sure not sure if i have a uh a favorite salmon i mean i feel like when we start talking about tasting fish it's you know some people forget about salmon um you can go into the saltwater fish too and there's a lot of good options there as well so say To get something here. I know. Oh, oh fish on. here we go. This is I was saying. It. Don't think this is gonna be our unicorn, uh, but things. But it might be a good fish day. Ah, uh, can't be mad at a three-pound bass. Okay. Hey, always. Yep. Well, Tony. <laughs> That's it we just did there. <laughs> I, I don't know. We did it at the same time, though. It was, it was good. It was good. Oh, this has been fun. I've enjoyed it. Hopefully, you didn't think it was just horrible, but yeah. Oh, oh, it was a good time. Great. Yeah. Well, thanks for joining me on the live stream. I was trying to think of what we should do tonight, and uh, Tony was happy or uh, was kind enough to uh, agree to do all this. So, big thanks for Tony. Round of applause. Um, thanks to uh, Derek and uh, CJ and Carly, I believe, for being our uh, moderators tonight. Really appreciate it, as always. And uh, yeah, we'll see you all next Wednesday, everyone. Take care, and as always, Remember everyone.
Perfect.